Welcome back, Advanced Algebra 2 Wildcats. If you would pause the video and update your table of contents. Okay, you've paused it, you've updated your table of contents. But before we move on to Thursday, September 1st, family functions continued. On the last video, we left off on section 5, and we did not attach the foldable. So if we would turn to section 5, and here I turned to the last page and I taped it on the left and right side because I'm a taper. Some of you are gluers, so you could glue it, or some of you are staplers, so you could staple it. Okay, so that's section five. Now we're going to move on to families of function continue to section six. So we're going to put our journal aside. And here we have section six, so we can put that in the top corner. Now, to save time on video length, we've already gone through the domain range for the parent function. So this is just a review. So if you would, pause, get the first three parent functions. Pause again, get the second three parent functions. And pause again and get the last three parent functions. Okay. Now that you have that updated, let's go over the examples. Now, example one. So, this is the linear parent function. Now, domain is from left to right. So, from left to right, there is no start top because it keeps going in both directions. So, the domain is. All real numbers. Now the range from bottom to top keeps going in both directions and there's no stopping so the range is all real numbers. Now example two is the quadratic function. Now the domain keeps going in both directions left and right so it's all real numbers. Okay now the range Again, we use start and stop. Okay, so it starts on the bottom, one, two, three. We know that the y values are greater than or equal to that, and it doesn't stop. So your range is three less than or equal to y, or y greater than or equal to three. The next one is a cubic function. And the domain from left to right keeps going in both directions, so it's all real numbers. Now in the range, same thing, it keeps going from bottom to top in both directions, so the range is all real numbers. Okay. Next function is an exponential function. Okay, now we normally don't do start and stop for domain, but in this case we need to Actually, we don't because we look here. So if you would just forget the last, the first three or four seconds that I just said. And let me read. Now, here, from left to right, it keeps going in both directions, so the domain is all real numbers. But it's the range that we need to do start and stop. Okay. So we look here. It starts at... 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, but it doesn't touch negative 5. And we know range is y, so we know y is greater than negative 5, and it doesn't stop, so there's your range. All right, now let's look at example number 5. So this one's a little hard to identify, but it's actually the square root function. And the domain, now this one is where it's start and stop. That's why I kind of went on example before I was thinking, wait, start and stop. But it's actually this one, start and stop. Because here, it starts at 1, 2, 3. We know it's x, so x is greater than or equal to. And it doesn't stop, so your domain is x greater than or equal to 3. And then the range, start and stop, 
And I'm writing ST for start and stop just because of space, but ST here means start, ST means there's stop or stop. Okay, so from bottom to top, it's coming from negative infinity. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now we know that the y values are greater than that. And it stops at 1, 2, 3, looks like 4. So we know that y's are less than or equal to 4. Now we don't use infinity and inequality. All these symbols together so we can erase that. We just use that concept to understand what was happening. So the range is y less than or equal to 4. Okay, next one is cube root. And from left to right, it keeps going in both directions, so it's all real numbers. And the range, same thing. From bottom to top, it keeps going, so the range is all real numbers. All right, next is the absolute value. Now, absolute value from left to right, it keeps going in both directions, so the domain is all real numbers. Now, the range, again, start, stop. It starts at negative 1 and includes it. So y is greater than or equal to negative 1. <coughs> and it doesn't stop, so your range is y greater than or equal to negative 1. Okay, next is logarithmic. Now, the domain for logarithmic, so again, we do start and stop. So it starts, it looks like, at 1, 2, 3. But it doesn't touch 3, so it starts at 3. So x is greater than 3, and it doesn't stop because it keeps going in that direction. Now, the range keeps going in both directions from bottom to top, so that it's all real numbers. And last, we have the rational function. And the domain, again, it keeps going in both directions, it's all real numbers, except for in this case, x does not equal, so we're looking at 1, 2, it looks like x is, does not equal negative 2, and then the range is all our numbers because it keeps going in both directions, but it doesn't include 1, 2, 3, 4, or y does not equal 4. All right, so please use these examples to finish your assignment. And with that, have a terrific Wildcat day.